to be creative stamping. Today I'm going to share with you how to take one of our tag bags that's in our annual catalog and turn it into a Halloween treat bag. We will need the following supplies. The first one is a package of the Sketch to Dots tag bag and these do come in quantities of 10 per package and if you look at it up close it's a glassine bag and it has the little whisper white dots on it. We'll also need some washi tape and I'm going to use the washi tape from the 2014-16 washi tape package. I'm going to use this Tangelo twist here. You can also use the Happy Haunting washi tape and that's in the 2015 holiday catalog. So it's really whatever you prefer. We'll also need some sponges or sponge daubers. And I've used both with these bags, but I'll probably use the sponge today to get more coverage. And ink, we'll need Tangelo Twist and Hello Honey. You'll notice on the bag that it does have a front and the back comes up a bit. And so we want to trim that off and make the bag even on both sides. So I'm going to cut off about an inch and now the front and the back of the bag are the same height. We're going to start with Tangelo Twist. So I'm going to open up the ink pad and put it right there. And then I need to line up my bag and I'm going to line it up with the lines because it's going to make it easier to hang on to my scrap paper and to keep it in the same place. So I'm going to say about right here is where I want to put Tangelo Twist. And I'm actually going to turn over the ink pad and I'm going to stamp it like this and just ink it up completely. And this is called direct to paper or right now it's called direct to bag. And then I am actually going to move this down a bit and I want to put some yellow here and so again I'm going to line up my scrap paper along the same lines. It just keeps it um, straight. All right, and we also have to cover this up, okay? So let me just wipe this a little bit because it's pretty wet. So let's do that. And then I am going to uh, put the scrap paper right on top of that so we don't interfere with the Tangelo twist. And then I'm going to ink up this part. Sorry about that. I had to stop and answer the phone real quick. So let me open this up again and just wanted to make sure that I covered that and that. And now I'm going to take my tissue, dry this off a little bit, but I'm also going to be uh, uh, mixing these two colors, okay? And then if you want it to make it a little bit darker, then you can always take your sponge and go back over it like this. All right. And here's Hello Honey again. All right. So hopefully you can see that. And you can also turn it over and do the back of your bag. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to add our handles. We're now ready to add the handles and we are going to need 12 inches of washi tape. Now I'm going to use, um, I can either use the top or the bottom of my graph paper here. And if you don't have any of these placemats, you can certainly measure it with a ruler. So I'm going to measure down here. I need about 12 inches. So here it is. Okay, now you want to take the ends and actually stick them together, okay? So I've done that and now, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing, I'm just sticking them together, okay? I've got to get my finger out of here. So you can already see how tricky this is, all right? 
and I was doing so well. Okay, I think I've got it. All right, so that's my first handle. Now I'm going to have to make another one. Okay, second one is done, just about. There we go. All right, so I now have two handles right here. And I actually have one longer than the other, so probably what I need to do is cut them to be the same length. Now, if you decide to do more than 12 inches, I think you'll be fine. In hindsight, I think I would do more like 14 inches, okay? Now we're ready to add them to our bag, and we are going to want to use glue dots to attach them. So let me grab them right here, and I'm going to put a glue dot on there. And then I'm actually going to open the bag, and I think I'm going to put it about right there. And let's see, let's get another glue dot on this handle. And I'm going to insert it about right there, okay? So now you can see I've got my first set of handles, all right? And so I'll go over here and I'll do the very same thing. I'll attach a glue dot to the very end. And I'm going to line it up in about the same place. Let me try that again. All right. And then just bring this around, grab a glue dot, and insert it right there. All right, so now we have our handles. And like I said, you can certainly make them longer. These were about 12 inches. So the next thing we're going to do is embellish our bag and make it look like Halloween. And we're going to start with one of our spider web doilies. Okay, we're ready to attach it. There's certainly all kinds of adhesive that you can use. I think I'll start with their little fine tip glue pen and I will add some adhesive here. I'm pretty much going to cover up the center with some stamping. So I'm just quickly, you know, just adding some glue. I'm going to put some on the points. And as you can see, I'm going pretty fast and you don't need a lot of glue. But one thing I've noticed with the fine tip glue pen, you're going to need it hold it you're going to need to hold it down a bit before it begins to adhere. And as you can see, I have put my points uh, uh, north and south and then east to west, okay? And I'm actually just going to let that sit for a few minutes and dry. And any glue that I do see, I'm actually just going to pat with this tissue, all right, until we get it completely dry. Okay, we're ready to embellish, and once I've done this, I'm going to show you the stamp sets and framelits that we've used. So now I'm ready to adhere this little pumpkin, and I could certainly pop him up, so maybe I will do just that. I've got just these little leftover um, pieces, so let me just finish up this sheet. And then we're going to peel this off. And then we'll just pop up our little pumpkin face. And again, I'm going to want, want to do the same with the hat. So here we are. I will put one there. And I'll put one more close to the pumpkin's uh, face. All right. And then we'll just kind of tilt his little hat on over. And um, he's just a cute little Halloween treat bag, ready to fill with candy. Let me show you some other ideas. Of course, you probably have seen this one. This is the skull and crossbones. And here is another one. This is trick or treat. And actually, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this one together. And all I'm going to do is cross these, okay? And I think I'll use a glue dot. Again, it's your personal preference. And then I'm going to add this cute little spider. And maybe we'll have him going like that, okay? So you can even uh, uh, embellish your bags without even putting handles on. 
So let me show you the stamp sets and framelits that I used for these three. I have Boo to You. Let me turn around Boo there. And this goes with the Halloween Treat stamp set. These two coordinate. And I used the skull and the bones, the spider, and the trick or treat. And the hat. Actually, I didn't stamp the hat though, but I did use the hat framelit with the black glimmer paper. And then one other stamp set to create my pumpkin face, which you will see right here. And here's the face right there and here. So that created the face. And in order to cut out that pumpkin, I used this circle framelit that's included in the seasonal frame framelits. And so these two items also coordinate. So let me know if you have any questions. And thanks so much for buzzing. Bye. Hey, tree, you be my